Good afternoon. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the notification bell. And today we got ourselves a quality check with the Model 3. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, so today we got two Model 3s, they're 2024, there are two blue ones that we're gonna be doing a quality check with these Model 3s. I normally do three vehicles, but it looks like there's not any vehicles on the lot today. So we got two here and we're gonna be doing a quality check with these two Model 3s. Starting off with this one right here. So this blue Model 3 2023, uh, as you may know, uh, Tesla is working on a new uh, 2024 Model 3. So I wouldn't suggest anybody buy a Model 3 right now. You might wanna hold off and wait for the new version of the Model 3. There should be upgrades with the new 2024 Model 3, but I do hear that the Tesla did scale back the computer a little bit with the 2023, 2024 Model 3. Uh, it looks like the, the new Model uh, 3 2024 is coming with less uh, memory. I don't know how this is gonna affect the vehicle, but the new 2024 Model 3, um, it hasn't been confirmed what the new features are 100%. So let's wait out for that new vehicle. Uh, so uh, as you may know, Tesla initially when it came out with the 2023 Tesla Model 3, it had a lot of panel gaps, a lot of issues. Um, but I can assure you now that the quality has dramatically improved. You're barely gonna see any panel gaps with these 2023s. So let's take a look over here on the left side. Let's move along onto the right side. And as you may know, the car is beautiful. Gaps are nice and thin. Um, now let's move along to the right side. As you may notice, Tesla has changed tire distributors. Now, now using Hancock for their tires. And what I hear is that um, the tires sound a lot more quieter on the ride. So that's part of the improvements with switching over from Michelin to Hancock. Okay, so taking a look over here, gaps are looking good. Okay, driver's side door, you wanna check that they're flush. You wanna rub your finger from this panel to this panel and you'll be able to tell if you feel a smooth groove all the way from one door to the other. All right, let's check this one. Beautiful. Gaps are looking good. Very thin. And this happens to be the uh, real wheel drive vehicle. And the reason why I know is because it doesn't have the uh, dual motor batch over here. So this is the uh, LFP version uh, made in China. A Model 3 that allows you to charge up to 100% if you decide to get the vehicle. All right. And you can do that all the time. So this Model 3 uh, build quality is phenomenal. And I hope the uh, 2024 Tesla Model 3 has um, a, a, a starts off with a good uh, build quality and the gaps that are nice and thin. All right. So... Um, Let's move on. I'll be giving this Model 3 a pass. Let's move on to another Model 3, which is going to be our final Model 3. All right, so this is our final Tesla Model 3 for the evening. We only have two vehicles, and we're going to be looking at the build quality. Remember, if you're taking delivery, walk around the vehicle at least five times. Never, ever rush your delivery. You want to make sure that the car is built to the best ability before taking that home. This car is a pretty much a pricey vehicle for its size. Uh, it's about $50,000 in Canada over here. Uh, it does come with a government $5,000 rebate, which is also applied onto the Model Y, which is great if you live in Canada or US, which has a place where you get a tax rebate. So taking a look over here, beautiful wheels. And one thing I, I, I'm going to advise you, if you're planning on getting a Tesla, um, uh, 
you are going to scuff your wheels. For some reason, um, these cars are addicted to scuffing your wheels. So um, uh, always, you might want to get yourself a rim protector if you are planning on driving your vehicle um, all, all the time. Or if you, if you find that you're a person that's prone to uh, uh, scuffing your, or curving your wheels. All right, so this is just a white tape. It does come off. They do that to protect it. It does come off. It, underneath here, it is black. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this. Gap over here is nice and thin. Beautiful, I do like that. Do like that. I can assure you that these, these cars are uh, built a lot better from what I've been seeing is that the, the, the quality has dramatically improved. And I hope that Tesla uh, ends up blacking out their logo. I don't think any, there should be no chrome on the vehicle. They should just get rid of chrome. Chrome seems to be dated and uh, yeah. So onto the right side, you may find gap is beautiful. Okay, I do like that. All right. So, these two Model 3s, phenomenal build quality. The quality is getting a lot better for as far as the Model 3, and uh, uh, they deserve a pass. So, um, we've gotten a chance to look over three ve two vehicles today, and um, they're both of them are looking good. So, if you're planning on taking delivery, I would hold out if you can, maybe a month or two for the new version of the Model 3 to come out because uh, it's going to be better um, as far as there's been improvements on the interior and exterior. So thank you for watching. Take care and have a nice day.